everyone, this is DJ, and welcome to another episode of RC Retirement. Today I've got an update for you. This is a short suspense update. There are changes coming to TRICARE if you are in a certain group of retiree and you need to know about it post haste. So I'm making this video for you right now, although it does happen to fall into the normal timeline for uh, the uh, for the weekly video. This is a change that uh, we're not used to seeing, and I'm going to describe what's going on right now. One of the reasons that I decided to make this video is the article I read said that less than 20% of eligible retirees have made the election thus far. So that makes this quite a critical issue. There are a lot of people who are facing disenrollment. So we need to get this information out there. So I'm asking your help. So let's take a look at some video, or rather some uh, some uh, some slides here. I've put together some, some visual help so you don't have to just listen to me uh, talk. There's some some stuff to read here as well. So if you want to use this for teaching purposes, you can do so. But remember, there's not a lot of time to make use of this information. So here we go. So bottom line up front, there are a lot of retirees who are going to be required to pay an enrollment fee and the monthly maintenance fee, if, if they set it up that way, for TRICARE starting January next year, or they're going to be disenrolled from TRICARE. That's official word, that's not rumor. So keep that in mind. There is action that needs to be taken, otherwise you're going to be disenrolled from TRICARE if you fall into a certain group of military retiree. These fees that I just mentioned affect retirees and their family members in what's called Group A. And these are retirees who enlisted or were appointed as officers before January 1st, 2018. So that means people who joined before the blended retirement system went into effect. And this new fee is due to a law change that occurred under the National Defense Authorization Act of 2017 that required some cost sharing between DOD and the individual retiree. Now, the law delayed the start of those fees until next year and also made a couple of adjustments to a few other things, such as the catastrophic cap, the maximum that you're allowed to pay out of pocket, which is going up from $3,000 per year to $3,500 per year. So you need to keep track of the amount of money that you're actually spending for medical expenses and be able to show that you have met the catastrophic cap. And at that point, TRICARE will cover expenses. There are some groups that are not affected by this change. Those groups are people who are covered by TRICARE for life. And that means if you're 65 or older, people who are medical retirees, you know, Chapter 61 retirees and their family members, and survivors of deceased active duty service members. So not everyone is under this particular group. Like I said, just Group A. And obviously, if you enlisted or were appointed after January 1, 2018, you are not a Group A retiree, so you would not fall into this group either. But keep in mind, 
if you're one of these three groups that I'm showing now, what I'm describing doesn't apply to you. Now, since a lot of folks are probably panicking right now, let me show you what these fees that I mentioned are. They're not that bad. Retirees can choose a monthly or an annual fee. And if you're an individual, we're talking a monthly fee of $12.50 or an annual fee of $150. If you're a family, double that. So we're not talking a fortune here. We're talking about $25 per month for a family or $300 per year for a family. That's not soaking retirees. It's a minor amount. Now that might change over the years to come, who knows, but at least for the moment, it's pennies. So we should be thankful for that. The real cutthroat part of this is the short suspense date, at least from the date of this video, because I'll admit I didn't find out about it until just recently because I did not read some of the other newspapers until recently but some of those that you'll see in the show notes so that's bad on me my fault um, the suspense date is the end of the 21st of next month so correction the 14th of next month so there's not a lot of time to make use of this information so you, everyone who is watching this right now needs to either do something or share this video with others so they can do something. So like I said, type group A retirees need to set up an allotment. You can't write a check every month. You need to set up an allotment with TRICARE. And if that is not feasible, then to set up an electronic funds transfer or an automatic debit or credit with correction, automatic debit with a debit or credit card on a recurring basis, recurring basis so that the fee can be paid. This has to be done before the open season, which as you can see here began a little while ago, about two weeks ago, and closes in about three weeks. So there's not a lot of time to do this. And anyone who is not set up for these recurring payments by the first of the year will be disenrolled from TRICARE if you fall into that Group A category. You will have just a limited time, as you see here, to request to be reinstated in the TRICARE and hopefully be able to do so. Of course, you'll have to pay the, the maintenance fee, the enrollment fee, but you'll, <laughs> you'll probably be grumbling about that. Now, I'm going to include some links. This is the, the main TRICARE website and the TRICARE East and West website. You're either in Humana Military or HealthNet Federal Services. And there are additional links in the show notes with a little bit of additional information that I haven't covered here. But the essentials, please spread this information to other people for whom this would apply. I'm sure you know retirees who fall into this category and would be very thankful to know about this. Uh, even if they are medical retirees, please share this video with them because they will know people who fall into the Group A category. And I'm sure that there are people they know who have not yet made this election. All right, thank you very much for taking your time and watching this video. 
I hope this is useful for you, and thank you for spending your time with me. If you would like to support my efforts, then you can go to patreon.com slash rcretirement and join at any of the pre-established levels of support that are there, or you can create one of your own. And those levels of support are per month. They are not per episode. Just keep that in mind. Also, you can go to rcretirement.com slash fees for services and look at the different types of support I can give you personally. I have a growing list of satisfied clients who have made use of those services and have several who I am helping at this very moment. If you would like to join that list, then please contact me at dj at rcretirement.com. Or if you just have a question related to this video or any of the others I've made, then please send me an email. That address again is dj at rcretirement.com. Once again, thank you for spending your time with me, and I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Until then, thank you for being here, and thank you for your service. Have a great day. If you liked what you heard on today's episode, then please go below and give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, please let other people know about this channel and the information it can provide for them. If you have questions or comments, then please have no qualms about posting them in the comments section below. Please remember the RC Retirement YouTube channel and the RC Retirement website are not recognized or endorsed by the Department of Defense, the Department of Veterans Affairs, or any other government agency. The information presented in these resources are for entertainment and informational purposes only. Also, the content of either of these resources should not be considered financial or legal advice. Please consult with your own legal counsel, accountant, or financial planner before making any decisions based on what you have learned here. As always, thank you for watching the RC Retirement YouTube channel.